I'm here with Max Taylor, who is the editor, or the Perry White, or J. Jonah Jameson of Caravan World magazine. Perry White? I've never been called Perry White before. But well, that makes it. me Superman, <laughs> which is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're in front of maybe one of the best kept secrets of the caravanning industry, a JB caravan. They've been making great vans for years. Yeah, look, they have been around for a while. Now, this van, it's the Dreamline Dirt Rotor. Now, Dirt Rotor in the title there, Tim, is mm. actually really important. And, mate, you and all the, the caravanners out there should understand that when you buy a caravan, you've got to understand its capability. <laughs> The Dreamline Dirt Rotor has been built to a purpose. Mm -hmm. it, it's not for hauling it along the Tanami Track okay. or Cape York. What it's for, it's about touring the coastal regions, it's about touring the hinterland, it's also about poking your nose into some of those national parks. And th that's right. what this van is built for. It means that you can see the great stuff in Australia and you can just get that little bit further. They've really probably put a bit of thought behind it. You're right. It's a really a, a really good amount of storage space for a van of this size, Tim. Yep. Um, but also equally important that I reckon when they've put these covers together, they've done it well. Mm -hmm. um, piano hinges for all the locker doors. Mm -hmm. They open and snap shut, you know, with a really solid feel. Yep. The bed base itself, mate, that's a really good design. I actually haven't seen this before. The bed lifts up so that you can get to your storage underneath. Right. But where the gas struts fit to the side of the bed frame, mate, they've actually reinforced it with steel checker plates. You can lift up the bed and you can slam it shut and it'll be fun. You can probably do that 150 times over and nothing will break. This is the goods. It, like, I, I love the, the roominess of it. I love the bench space. Let's face it, we've got en suites in vans now. Mm. If, you are, if you're not putting an en suite in the van, you're not selling them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, suites are important. I mean, aren't they? The, but they are. They make life so much easier when you're out on the road. And then there's a resale value as well. You um, bet. That resale factor is always something that people do think about. Caravan design and even buying a caravan does require a little bit of compromise. It's where those compromises have been made that really and truly matter. Um, and I, I, as I said before, I think with this van, they've got the right mix.